So today the stock market was down a few percentage points, maybe 3.5%. The Dow Jones, NASDAQ were both down around 3.5%. And I'm seeing some news articles saying, oh, this is really affecting mom and pop investors. Um, the funny thing about this is, uh, no, um, it's actually affecting everyone who invests in the stock market. Um, most importantly, the baby boomers who are putting most of their 401k in stocks. Um, first off, this is sort of a rarity in the past few years, uh, the stock market going down 3.5% in one day. Um, there isn't a huge catalyst for it, in my opinion. Um, the thing that the news media says uh, is the catalyst is the uh, coronavirus, um, which has spread to South Korea and Italy and maybe Iran. Um, I think that, sure, the coronavirus will slow down economic activity, and it's already slowed down activity in China. Um, all the major cities in China are pretty much deserted, um, and it's already uh, late February, so that's definitely going to impact manufacturing and retail over there. Um, specifically physical goods and physical delivery. I don't think uh, electronic um, services and electronic uh, goods such as video games, in-app purchases, um, things like that would be negatively affected. I think those would be positively affected because uh, people are at home probably playing video games, <laughs> the younger generation at least. Um, my thought on this uh, downturn is it's probably not the last we're going to see this year. 2020 has been an interesting year so far. Um, be prepared. Uh, my portfolio was down about 1% today uh, because I've um, invested in some gold stocks um, and a few things that have been doing pretty well uh, recently. Uh, Kroger didn't really go down because Berkshire Hathaway has... Uh, basically disclosed that they invested a lot into that company. Um, but my thought at this point is you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Um, cash is not a good investment, uh, generally speaking. Um, with our current administration, we're uh, investing a lot in deficit. There's a lot of deficit spending. Doesn't seem to be any sort of uh, change there. Um, I know that Trump has advocated for negative interest rates um, when what that means is uh, the central banks will um, not pay interest on extra reserves um, to banks that they lend to. That doesn't necessarily mean that your uh, personal uh, bank account will charge you to keep money in the bank account. It would mean that your the interest rate that you do get is less. Um, so cash probably isn't a super good investment. Um and even if uh, Bernie Sanders wins the election, sounds like there's going to be even more deficit spending, um, which will further inflate, um, cause inflation, and then lower the value of the dollar. So I think gold at this point is probably a pretty good um, investment for those more uh, tech-minded. Bitcoin is not U.S. dollar. Uh, it's not gold, but uh, I think it's a better investment uh, than the U.S. dollar. So Bitcoin and gold are my uh, recommendations during this uh, potential downturn. Um, if you want to stay in stocks, some stocks that typically do okay during downturns are like staples like Procter & Gamble. Um, they sell shampoo and soap and Tide and stuff like that. It's not really going to be affected by an economic downturn. Um, Gucci, Starbucks, just these luxury goods that people don't necessarily have to have will be affected by the downturn. Um, anything that relies on people gathering in um, groups that is selling products in China um, has been and will be affected. Um, Disney, like I said, Starbucks, um, McDonald's maybe. Um, just need to do your research, but uh, safe haven assets, Gold and Bitcoin, in my opinion.